Hello everyone, and welcome back to Suhula Sand Safari and Archaeology Dig Site, where we are currently admiring our beautiful pride of lions! And they've got so many new lion cubs! Look at all of these little ones! We turned our back for like one minute to admire all of the cheetah cubs we actually had born. The largest litter of cheetah that any of us have ever seen in our pixel biology adventures. In any of the pixel biology, um, any of the pixel biology zoos and zones we have been to. Just look at all of them! They're so freaking cute and so fast! Oh my gosh, I love them! But four cheetah cubs, you guys! We had four cheetah cubs born last time, which is just amazing! And while we were busy admiring the cheetah, we also ended up with many new lion cubs. Like, the pride has massively expanded. Massively! Let's go ahead and see how many lion cubs we have at Lion Rock right now. We now have six babies! So, we have Umbrella the second, we have little Cricket, and then we have four all-white babies who were just born. One of which is this little male. He's brand new. He, like, we need more caves now because we have so many lions, they don't have enough hard shelter. So we might give them, like, maybe a nice little tree alcove, or maybe... I feel like I want to do something, like, with trees? <laughs> That would be kind of fun. Or maybe another abandoned hut. <gasps> of course, we should do another abandoned hut in here for them. That would make everything look really nice. Okay, let's go grab an abandoned hut from way over here. The cheetahs actually have the great design for the abandoned hut. And you know what? We should name it after one of you guys. So it can be one of your guys' like ancient family homes that is now just here, kind of half lost in the wilderness. We'll tuck it down over here under this tree. And let's see if that did anything for their hard shelter. Did that did that count? Can they not go in here? Maybe we need to expand it a little bit more. All right, let's take down these walls cuz lions are a little bit thicker than cheetahs. They're they're pretty big boys. They're big cats because they try to really put all of their strength into that speed. And sure enough, that did indeed improve the hard shelter. And we have a curious little baby cricket coming over to see what is going on over here with this weird abandoned building. Can I put like two of these buildings down? Because that would be kind of fun. Maybe I can make like a little abandoned nook back here. There we go. And we can make this like into a couple of your guys' houses. And maybe even put a spot for them to sleep in here. <gasps> I just made like all of the lions unhappy by doing that. That's fine. But we increased the hard shelter up to 58%. Yes. How's the space though? We're still doing great on space, which really surprises me. So this is kind of fun to just like, yeah, let's put another hard shelter down here. Why not? It's, we're a place full of ruins, so this feels perfect to be able to really show that. And that just added enough hard shelters that the lions are happy again! <gasps> Let's put another one down! Like, if that's the way it's gonna be. We can put another hard shelter down. Not where they do their zebra hunting. But maybe right over here? I really want people to be able to, like, look over and see into pride rock area but they can do that from this side so we'll put another shelter right over here and now what do they think excellent that really did improve it i love having abandoned huts it's just it's just like when we're doing all of our work over with the um over with our jungle expedition in our South America jungle expedition zone where the pixel biologists are doing their research. We have a little bit of mating going on because apparently there's not an- or like a little little bit of rubbing because apparently it's not enough <gasps> to have all of the cubs out and playing. Oh, look at them. Oh, this is so cute. And now they're swimming and playing. This is absolutely precious. I love that we get to spin- look at her just like kick the cub away. Like, no, we don't need to chew on my toe, thank you very much. It's really cute when you watch real life lion cubs play with their pride members because they really harass them. Like, the female lionesses actually end up smacking the lion cubs away because when lion cubs play, they're playing with their fangs, their sharp little teeth, they're playing with their claws. They don't exactly have a lot of soft 
appendages to play with. So they play rough with each other, which is one of the reasons that a female lioness will actually hide her young away for about two to three months before she'll even introduce her newborn cubs to the pride, because there's a chance that the older members of the pride, like the juveniles, won't know their own strength and they can actually end up hurting her cubs. So she has to defend her cubs in their most vulnerable early days all by herself elsewhere. But all right, now that we're super excited about that, let's name the cubs and then we're gonna go ahead and name the houses, the abandoned huts, uh, that you guys can now have and we might even put like a hut or two Like over here That might be kind of fun like in the center circle Maybe put some things inside of it like a little shop. <gasps> I would love if I could somehow wiggle a little shop in there Maybe we'll put a little shop over there anyway. We'll figure it out All right, but let's greet the new ones little Hassan who is quite hungry and coming over for some food and he is going to be renamed to Bradley, after Paige Bradley. And Paige, I'm so glad you're enjoying our adventures. I freaking adore and freaking love our entire zoo. I love, or excuse me, this is Hula Sand Safari. This is my favorite one that we have ever created. Also because it's full of giraffes, but because it has just brought so much life to this land. And we have come up with so many creative solutions for how to really investigate the world. And I love it. Oh, and I love having you guys into here. So we have Bradley and then we have a little girl over here who we are actually going to name Blur. And that's actually a name meant for a cheetah. Oh my word. But I think it's a good name. I think it's a good name for a lion cub. And look at this, they've knocked the food. They knocked the food onto the rock. I have never seen something so terribly disturbing in my life. They knocked the little zebra so hard that they sent Wispy or perhaps uh, this pinata enrichment, which we'll have to name after another zebra or prey animal when we get ready to release them to the wild or they die of old age. Um, but they knocked the food all the way up against the cliffside. That's terrifying. That's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. But Blur, I think, would make a great name for a lion cub as well as for a cheetah. We'll have to remember that for a fun cheetah name in the future. Then we have another little girl right over here. Let me pull up the next name from the random name generator. Uh, and we're actually gonna name this little one Gast, which is a perfect name. Like Gast after Minecraft uh, Gast. And I think that's a perfect name for her because she is actually a all white lion cub. So that's excellent. And then finally, we're going to name the last little unnamed one Polar after Polar Bear. And I think because he is a white lion cub, that is also a perfect name for him. Also, can you believe, look at this. I love seeing the pride. They're definitely growing. They are doing very well. We have new lion cubs. They still have enough space for everybody. Oh, watching the social animals really be able to just grow and engage with each other makes me so excited. Speaking of which, we do have a new wolf, uh, the, not wolf, pardon me, new wild dog or painted dog pups that we need to look into in just a little bit too. But I think today we're going to focus mostly on the lions and improving their area and improving the area around here so that people will come and visit with them some more. Uh, and speaking of improving their area, let's actually move all of these protea flowers into a prettier place because the protea flowers are based off of all of the dung that we managed to scoop for our rare species of dung beetle, after all. And we can totally relocate those to go on the exterior so that it'll look nice and pretty. Habitat, bachelor's rock needs cleaned. Okay, I think we need to hire more keepers over here pretty soon. Maybe the rain will do it for us. But for now, I'm going to focus on tidying up the lion area. All right, maybe another piece down here. We've got a bunch of proteas that we can actually just move together. 
And then we'll put down some more places for them to sleep inside of the abandoned huts in just a little bit. Let's see. You know what? We can actually line the tortillas up individually to make it look a little nicer along here. There we go. And we'll just line these up. We also need to put a trash can over here, it seems. There we are. Remember, the only time we can ever put tortillas down is when we have dung inside of our exhibits. And I do need to add more dung beetles and things like that. All right, so how can we improve this area? Let's give names to all of the huts. And this is actually going to be, dun 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 This is gonna be Adri. So this is gonna be Adri's hut. There we go. Adri, there's your hut, which I think is great. And then over here, this is going to be Fee's hut. And you guys actually get to have lions hanging out inside of your old houses, which I think is really fun. This is going to be Ben's hut. I can't make it possessive with a like S apostrophe uh, because otherwise it'll freak out. Like I'll show you guys what happened if I put Ben's hut. Oh, they finally fixed that. Yes. I am so happy. They finally, finally, finally fixed that. I can add in soul. So this is actually going to be soul death's hut. And I feel like a name like that, I need to change the terrain a little bit to just like soil, like heavy, heavy, muddy soil or rough rock. There we go. And I need to add something a little spooky in Soul Death's hut because that just sounds like somewhere that we should be slightly concerned about. But for now, let's go ahead and put in more leaves and beds for them to be able to rest in. So we'll do bedding. For the lions, I think large, to let them know that they can rest over there. And I want them resting over here as well, if they want to, so that people can see them. And then lions resting over here too. There we go. Maybe we'll mix it up with some leaves. Like a whole bunch of really nice soft pieces of grass and leaves have just like blown in there. And then I'm actually going to change the terrain just a teensy little bit right up along here. There we go. Just around this hut and like on the interior just slightly. If I can get it growing just right just little patches just around this hut i haven't really tried to play with little detail pieces of grass like this before but i think we'd be well served by you know just putting little patches here and there of long grass there because i feel like these these fake zebra wouldn't just be hiding out in the open. There we go. All right, I think that's good. Just a, a few patches here and there. I probably should make the intensity a little bigger. And I definitely wanted to add some something up along the riverway. Uh, even if actually we just come down and along the river do some soil. And Lonely is going to come down and rest. See, I think people complain when the lions are sleeping all the way inside. So maybe if we change up where they want to sleep, that will actually encourage them to come and stay closer to where people can see them. Like Lonely collapsing right over here. And look at all of these guys playing with their boxes. Excellent! All right, so now we need to figure out how to make the people who come back here happy. Uh, step number one, I need to give them some trash cans. So let's, and benches, come on. Of course people want to sit and rest, catch their breath, admire the amazing lions. Uh, let's give them, I think we have some like cool bench set. Yeah, these things are so cool. Not the benches I want to put over here though. Uh, I kind of feel like I want to make a fancy little 
bench rest spot. We might make a fancy little bench rest spot back here. And we might make it so people can see in through this side too. Whenever animals decide they want to grace their us with their presence over on this side. So what if I do put down these two pieces and like a canopy? Can people, I think this would like knock people in the head because this canopy is too low. But not if I put it on top. Here's a South American bench. Oh, that's just so awesome. Oh, I love that. Ooh, that's actually really cool. I love that spark of color. Can I change the colors of this? I can, just a teensy teensy bit. Nothing too dramatic. Nothing that we really even need to do, to be honest. So I'm actually going to undo that. This picnic bench is so cool! Oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Look, people are already sitting down to rest and admire the lions. I love that. Uh, all right, and I want them to be comfy. So I think what I should do is maybe put some nice savanna rocks just right between them. Let's see, nice little rock. Hmm. This is important. You gotta, you gotta have your area looking nice, and you, you've got to make it. Ah, you've got to make it so people want to come and see what's going on with your lines and things. Hmm. Maybe like this, and then some plants. What else would I want if I was sitting here? I would probably want somewhere to throw away trash, to be honest. So, oh, look at the little gecko that's on there. I never noticed the little gecko before. Oh, it's perfect. You know what? Yeah, let's put it down actually like a bin. Okay, I think I would want the bin a little bit away from me. So we'll put the bin over here. And I've got to think creatively. I want this to look really nice and be somewhere that people want to be. We want to convince people to like show up over here. I would want to be able to cool off a little. But also if people are overheated, as terrible as it sounds, that means that they will actually buy more drinks. So maybe we just need to take advantage of this with another little well. All right, and maybe if I put down a nice little bench spot here. You know, I would want to hear maybe, maybe an education spot. That might be fun to have like a little ambient speaker um, or an educational speaker tucked into this so that when I sat down and rested, I could hear, yeah, let's do an ambient speaker hiding in here. And apparently there's high amounts of litter. We'll have to break out our litter bug once more. And let's do the desert at night. Very cool. And you know what? Let's make it so that we have a tiny itty bitty little cooler so that people will have a spot to cool off. Because we don't really have any buildings to help with the cooling and we're kind of slowly but surely working our way into being multi-millionaires. So I like the idea of people being able to cool off by sitting under a nice bench. And we actually can control how cool they get. So they won't be like 100% cool, but maybe if we make them like, oh, it's it's at least down to 85 degrees if you hang out under this bench. Maybe that'll make people sit here. And if people sit here and are cooling off, then we should educate them. Ha ha, I have them trapped now. They're gonna learn whether they want to or not. And then we'll sneak the little education speaker. Maybe I should put it up in here. We'll sneak the education speaker up into the top where they can't really see it, but I'll know that it's there. And then we can relentlessly convince people to learn something new if I can just reach them. Curses. Ah, I hate it when like I have a great idea, but I just can't quite get it to pull off. So let's put down the education speaker. Let's convince everybody to care about the West African lion in this little radius right here. 
And you know what? I'm just going to stick the education speaker in this rock, because at least I'll know where to go. There we are. Alright, so now people would be nice and cool. They would chill. They would enjoy. And let's see what, well, you know what? Yeah, we'll see what African plants I can put onto this thing. Maybe a nice little aloe vera? I mean, this area is nice and cold, nice and chill. People can come and relax for just a minute. Can't put any protea down unless we have protea. No ivy, please. Apparently nettles count, which always cracks me up a little bit. Hmm. It's mostly just like big trees, isn't it? That frankincense is cute. So let's try cattails, caribou moss, common reeds. I mean, we could do like just some little common reeds right over here. It's always tricky to figure out like how to set something up because if we use this as like a common decoration area, maybe some weeds here, some reeds here, and would that be fun? Like to have some, some big old grass just kind of rustling next to your head? I think so. That's one of Chips' favorite things. Desert ironwood. Hmm. Ooh, elephant grass. That's fun. Fairy fan. Oh, like little flowers like these. That's kind of what I was looking for. Oh, look at these roses. I love them. I just want like a small little plant. Just a couple of them. Maybe a curious orchid. Yeah, maybe just like a nice little curious orchid or two that somehow managed to scraggle on to the side of this rock that people can come and enjoy looking at. Let's see. And then a little bit more. Lovely. All right, I like it. It's just very simple. I kind of want to put something like low on the ground. Um, papyrus, oh, that would have been so cool. But this is a tight area to work with. Oh, the little soap tree. I love all these plants. Twin flower. Oh, the wattle bush. <gasps> Do you have a tiny wattle bush? Oh, the wattle bush would have been perfect, sort of. It's a little big, a little big. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be able to shrink these down like you can shrink down all of the Sims items. White sagebrush. Now that's pretty cool too. I'm a little biased to the cool the coolness of white sage. You know what? I like it. We'll go ahead and we'll call this a bit of a done deal right here. Because yeah. people should hopefully be able to relax, unwind. Is the... How does this not select everything? That's like right here. That needs to go away. And I don't think it selected the benches. Come on, bench. Can I not select the benches after all of this hard work? Really? Oh my gosh, you can't select the benches when you move it around. Oh, the irony. The terrible, terrible irony. But at least we have a couple nice little spots that we can put down over here, I guess, and add the benches to. Huh. I think that's kind of interesting how you can't add the benches as just like a set spot, but that's fine. Alright, I think that's a good start. I know I got really distracted on the minute details yet again, but it's these kinds of things that will end up making or breaking our, our comfort levels. And I really love the look of this now. There's spots where people can learn. Hopefully it's not overlapped too much. It's a little bit too overlapped. We can, we can work on that. Let me show you guys a cool trick on how to fix that. If we come over to our... <sighs> If we come over to our education, and then you find, there's conservation, there's per species, you find the education board, speaker, and then you can shrink 
the little speaking zones down. Speaker six, there we go. And we're gonna shrink it down to like a three or a four. All right, that'll do. I really got lost in the minutia of trying to make a nice little like bench spot, but now we can copy paste this bench spot over the entire zoo, which is really the goal to be honest. Can I can I grab the other bench while I'm at it? No. So you, that's interesting that you can't copy the benches. A little bit of a setback, but not much of one. And watch, watch, watch. It's perfect to just be able to scoop right up into your waiting arms and plunk on down pretty much anywhere. And now we can just go ahead and put like a couple little benches down over here. Like these already have a good spot, but it could be better. It could be better. And we can add to this spot, like so, boom. And now the only trick is to grab the rock real fast, scooch it over, grab this, change this to cheetahs, and then scoot the rock back over. Ta-da! Yay! All right, I really like that, you guys. I hope we aren't, yeah, we're not spreading any any new education anywhere. It's just like localized right over here. Uh, and we have improved the zoo in the small thriving world that we can be oh so proud about. But all right, thank you guys so much for joining me as I fussed around and added in some more beautiful ambient details. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.